Welcome in everybody, XReaverX. Today I got a video going over the Season 3 leaks for Modern Warfare Zombies. This is going to include all the things that were data mined and leaked here for Modern Warfare Zombies. So Season 3 is supposed to start on Wednesday, April 3rd. And we're going to be getting some content that we were kind of already like familiar with. And what I mean by that is more so like these Act Story Missions. So we're going to have our Act 4 Story Mission. And with that, we're going to have the items that we have to gather. And then we're going to have to upgrade to gold. So these items include the toy giraffe, crayon, the laptop, and the journal. But we're going to have to go and find each one of these items, just like we had to in the previous acts. Now, getting these items, we're not sure yet. This is just what's been data mined. But I'm assuming it's probably going to be something similar to how it's always been, where we have to have an alternate ammo type or something similar to that degree. Now, we are going to have to upgrade these to gold as well to enter into the new dark ether that we're going to be getting. Also should be noted here that there is a new boss known as the champion coming to the game. There isn't any news on what this champion is going to be. My best guess is it's going to be a HVT with an AAT, so a high value target with an alternate ammo type. Kind of like we just saw in the last Dark Ether here for Season 2 Reloaded, where we had the mimics with the discharge electricity and like the manglers with the discharge electricity. It's probably going to be something similar to that, I would think. Now, when we come down a little bit further here, the new Dark Ether Rift that we're going to be getting is going to be another section of the Al Mazra map, and it's going to be the Zarqua Hydroelectric Point. And so that's where we're going to be heading to go into the new Rift here. And then coming down further here, we are going to have a new PvP mode and weapon cases. Now, there are some videos right now on YouTube circulating with this PvP mode as some users were actually able to down other players in their game of zombies in the current state of Season 2 Reloaded. So you can check those videos out and see. But yeah, there are some players that were able to kill each other here in the zombies mode. So this is coming to zombies. Now, it's going to be a separate standalone from what this leaked image suggests as just a standalone mode separate from the zombies. It's going to be called PvP Grief, as you see here. Now, we're not too sure what all this PvP mode is going to include, if there's going to be restrictions on certain weapons like Wonder Weapons or maybe even like Legendary Tools or Schematics, stuff like that. I'm assuming it's probably a free for all. You can go in with whatever items that you you know that you have and you want to use. And then it's going to be really similar to DMZ, if you guys were familiar with that or played that in the past where if you kill other players, you're going to lose all of your stash, everything you had on you. There's going to be cooldowns on your weapons, I'm assuming too, because that's how it was in DMZ. So we're going to have to see how that's going to work. I'd love to hear what your guys' thoughts are down in the comments. So let me know down in the comments what your guys' thoughts are on this PvP mode. Now, me personally, I don't know where I really stand with this as I'm kind of indifferent, to be honest. Um, when I hop on zombies, I just want to play zombies, PvE, you know, I'm not too keen on player versus player. I wanted to do that i would just hop in multiplayer or warzone so we'll have to see how this plays out i am going to try it out and i'll make some content on the mode as a whole when it does drop give you guys a little bit more in depth on what everything is in the mode now if we come down a little further here we're going to have the new rumored schematics now according to the data mines here they're not going to be in line with the way we did this in the past being going into t4 and t5 and doing those contracts to unlock our schematics instead we're going to be collecting different pieces of clothing from warlord bosses we're going to be collecting the barret from the legacy boss the chemist mask from curies the vest from the rainmaker and the mod from dokabi now we're not exactly sure what all else we're going to be doing with these clothing items yet there's no data mine for that just yet and I assume as we get closer to the actual launch on April 3rd that we might have more information regarding what we're doing with these pieces of clothing to get the schematics. But as of now, we don't know exactly how we're going to unlock the schematics other than that it's going to be requiring these pieces of clothing from the different Warlord bosses. Now coming down further here, we have new Warlord bosses as well. So the data mine shows the names of these bosses to include the Rainmaker, Garrett, Archangel, Bronco, Ursa, Polanski, Sokolov, and Payback. So these are going to be the names of some new Warlord bosses to come. Now, all of these are probably going to be spread out through the rest of the life cycle of Call of Duty Zombies here. I don't imagine all of these are coming at once on season three. If we scroll down a little further here, we're gonna have new perks and enemy types. Kevin Drew actually confirmed back in Season 2, he's one of the creators of Modern Warfare Zombies, that we were not going to be getting any new perks or enemy types for the future of Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. 
Now, when he announced this back in season two, I know myself, including the rest of the community, was pretty devastated by this news as it felt like the zombies community was being let down once again and getting put and thrown back on the back burner compared to a multiplayer in Warzone. Now, there is talk about the HVTs that we have. These are going to include the Manglers, Disciples, and Mimics, getting a AAT applied to them, being the alternate ammo type. So my thoughts on these HVT variants are going to be in line with the AATs that we have, being the Inferno, Deadwire, Cryo Freeze, and Brain Rot ability. Now, in the latest Dark Ether that we did, we did see the Manglers and the Mimics have the Deadwire ability applied to them. They would send out those electric pulses and shocks, and once it hit us, it made our player discharge their current clip that they have. And it's very similar to a shockwave hitting us. Now, I imagine these other HVTs that we're going to be getting in season three are gonna be similar to that, where if there's an Inferno type, it's gonna send out a big explosion of fire beneath our feet, just kind of like how when we kill a Hellhound, we have that puddle of fire there. And then Cryo Freeze, maybe that'll like slow us down or freeze a player in place for a few seconds. And then my thoughts on Brain Rot might be that they just make all the zombies around them a little bit higher tier, kind of how Disciples suck them up and make them a higher tier. I'm assuming maybe Brain Rot would work in a similar fashion. Now, these are just my thoughts on this. This has not been confirmed. So take that with a grain of salt. Now, there were new strings discovered within Modern Warfare Zombies that are reflecting gameplay features from Warzone and DMZ coming to Zombies. These are going to be exclusive here to the Modern Warfare 3 Zombies mode. And these include the Dead Drop Locker, Exfil Balloon, the Citadel, Portable Buy, Weapons Locker, Defend Machine, Decontamination Station, Black Sites, and ATMs. Now, if you're familiar with DMZ and Warzone, you're probably familiar with a lot of these. I want to go over some of the ones here that are listed. The Exfil Balloon is going to be a balloon that we can Exfil from, so we should be able to just find a balloon around the map and go ahead and Exfil straight from that. Now, the Portable Buy is going to be exactly what it sounds like. It's a buy station that you can just throw down wherever you are, so no longer will we have to go to T3 to buy our jug suits. That's going to be super dope. Weapons Lockers are weapons in which we can store our weapons in and high value weapons that can be found around the map. Defend Machine is going to be literally just a defibrillator that we can use to instantly revive down players. That's going to be super helpful in all those T3, T4, and T5 zones. Super stoked to see that coming. Decontamination Station. So this is going to be a piece of equipment that we can throw down. It creates a big bubble shield around us and it keeps us safe from the outside storm. At least that's my thoughts on what this is. Back in the first war zone, they had something similar to this in which you could just throw that down, creates a big bubble shield, you're safe from the storm. Now, forgive me if this is in Warzone 2 and DMZ. I have not personally played a lot of Warzone 2 or DMZ. So if it's something different, just let me know down in the comments. But as far as I'm aware, that is what this is. We have black sites. So black sites, to my knowledge, are going to be locations around the map that are going to contain higher value loot for us. So going to these locations, we're going to be able to get better loot faster than going to other locations on the map. Now, I do believe these sites are also going to be heavily monitored uh, by uh, AI soldiers. So do keep that in mind when going to these black sites. My personal favorite line of text here is the ATMs. So there's been a lot of talk about a banking system coming to Modern Warfare 3 Zombies for a very long time. There's been a lot of leaks and data mines that have found information regarding this coming to a future season of Modern Warfare Zombies. So hopefully this is going to be in season three. But do take every one of these with a grain of salt as these are not confirmed for season three of Zombies, but rather confirmed to be coming in a future season of Zombies. Now, my best guess for this season three, I'm assuming we're going to be getting probably the portable buy and the defend machine. The other ones, I don't think we're going to be getting. However, if we do, that's going to be awesome. I'm going to be really excited to see that. And when these do drop, I'll be making content regarding what each one of them does on my channel. As we scroll down a little further, we have reached the end of all the data mine and leaks that we have for season three of zombies. So do take all this information with a grain of salt as this is data mined and leased. They're always up to subject to change. So do take this video with a grain of salt. I do believe a lot of this is coming though in season three. So we'll have to wait and see. When it does drop, I will be making videos covering everything that comes out in season three for you guys. So do stay tuned to my channel for all of that. If you guys found this video helpful at all, please consider leaving a like and a sub. And as always, we will catch you on the next video. Peace and prosper. Much love. We'll be seeing you on the next one. Late.